Dr. Web Antivirus is a free antivirus program which you can install on a USB stick, an iPod, you can burn it as a CD or put it on your desktop. It supports Windows 95 through to Windows 7. It'll detect and remove rootkits, worms, viruses, uh, stealth viruses, spyware, spybots, password stealers and so on. Now, when you download it, you'll have this little sp this spider icon with a set of random letters and numbers as the file name. And you can download this straight to a USB device or to another location. In this case, it's on my desktop. I've opened my USB stick and I just drag and drop it in. And that's it. Then double click it to run it. And you'll get this little pop-up window. If you update, if you've just downloaded it, you don't need to update. You have the latest version. Now this is updated a lot. If you've had it for a day or two, then update it. So I will click on start and this will check the RAM and startup files for active viruses before it starts is the express scan, which is basically a quick scan. Now this is not a replacement antivirus. This is a standalone utility to remove infections from infected machines. And it will go through the preparation before it starts to scan and then it will scan the memory before starting to scan the drive and it will be just a quick scan which doesn't take very long at all. Now I have installed some malware trojans, uh, the sort of stuff that people come across when they're browsing the internet and it gets downloaded and it'll be interesting to see what this picks up. As you can see it's picked up a Trojan, Trojan Fake Alert 4895 you have the option to cure, tick yes or click yes. Fake alert 4631, again click yes. And these are then deleted. And you can follow the progress in this little pane at the bottom. Uh, there's a run DLL 32, another fake alert and another fake alert. So again just click yes. There's an Internet Explorer DLL which will be deleted on reboot. Now the host file is where a lot of modifications are made and what you should do is click on yes which will take it back to a clean hosts file. You can rebuild it afterwards if you use spybot search and destroy, spyware blaster, host man, host expert or you have another method of managing your hosts. And because malware can change the hosts, it's advised that you click yes. Now, the scan's finished with five infections and it needs to restart. Now I'm gonna click no because if an infection's found, what you should do generally is carry out a complete scan. Now, you will get this pop-up window when the scan's finished and all you have to do quite simply is click on the cross and close it. Now a complete scan is recommended because malware was found. Now what I will do is carry out a custom scan of my C drive because that's where I installed the malware and then click on scan and let it run and see what else it finds. Bearing in mind there were five objects found in the quick scan. So here we go, a Trojan downloader 39496. Again click yes. And it will go through and find out any that were missed on the quick scan. Uh, 4504, click yes, antivirus plus. Again, there's Internet Explorer DLL. This will be deleted on reboot. And at the moment, we have eight infections found. Yeah, it's a very good tool to use. It's a useful one to have on a USB stick. Again, Trojan Fake Alert. I'll click yes to all so you don't keep getting the pop-ups when it finds something it automatically is yes. In Windows Task Manager it's running as random characters numbers and letters because some malware will stop antivirus programs from running which this is a workaround for it. Now because of the previous quick scan it wants to restart the computer but because I'm doing a custom scan on my C drive I'm going to select no. 
Now this has found 11 viruses at the end of the scan and these are all marked deleted. There are a couple which uh, the Internet Explorer DLL invalid path. This will be deleted on reboot. So what I will do is close this window and what happens you get this pop-up window are you sure you want to close the application? You should click yes because this will then neutralize the threats when you close it. Now I will run a scan with Malwarebytes anti-malware so I'm not going to reboot just yet and as you can see Malwarebytes anti-malware has found 29 infected objects show the results and it's the usual fake alerts, rogue antivirus programs and the files, folders, registry keys, registry values. So simply click on remove selected. It saves me having to do this a little bit later when I've rebooted and it makes sure it's all gone. And again you should click yes. I will click no and do that in a moment. If you want any more information, check out my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.